and King Zedekiah the son of Josiah reigned instead of Coniah the son of Jehoiakim, whom Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon made king in the land of Judah. But neither he nor his servants, nor the people of the land hearkened unto the words of the Lord, which he spoke by the prophet Jeremiah. And Zedekiah the king sent Jehuchal the son of Shalemiah, and Zephaniah the son of Masiah the priest to the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Pray now unto the Lord our God for us. Now Jeremiah came in and went out among the people, for they had not put him into prison. Then Pharaoh's army came forth out of Egypt, and when the Chaldeans who besieged Jerusalem heard tidings of them, they departed from Jerusalem. Then came the word of the Lord unto the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Thus shall ye say to the king of Judah, who sent you unto me to inquire of me, Behold, Pharaoh's army, which has come forth to help you, shall return to Egypt into their own land. And the Chaldeans shall come again and fight against the city, and take it and burn it with fire. Thus saith the Lord, Deceive not yourselves, saying, The Chaldeans shall surely depart from us, for they shall not depart. For though ye had smitten the whole army of the Chaldeans who fight against you, and there remained but wounded men among them, yet should they rise up every man in his tent and burn the city with fire. And it came to pass that when the army of the Chaldeans had broken off from Jerusalem for fear of Pharaoh's army. Then Jeremiah went forth out of Jerusalem to go into the land of Benjamin to separate himself from thence in the midst of the people. And when he was in the gate of Benjamin, a captain of the guard was there, whose name was Irajah the son of Shalemiah, the son of Hananiah, and he took Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Thou fallest away to the Chaldeans. Then said Jeremiah, It is false. I fall not away to the Chaldeans. But he hearkened not to him, so Irajah took Jeremiah and brought him to the princes. Thereupon the princes were wroth with Jeremiah, and smote him and put him in prison in the house of Jonathan the scribe, for they had made that the prison. When Jeremiah had entered into the dungeon and into the cells, and Jeremiah had remained there many days. Then Zedekiah the king sent and took him out, and the king asked him secretly in his house, and said, Is there any word from the Lord? And Jeremiah said, There is, for, said he, Thou shalt be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. Moreover Jeremiah said unto king Zedekiah, How have I offended against thee or against thy servants or against this people, that ye have put me in prison? Where are now your prophets who prophesied unto you, saying, The king of Babylon shall not come against you, nor against this land? Therefore hear now, I pray thee, O my lord the king. Let my supplication, I pray thee, be accepted before thee, that thou cause me not to return to the house of Jonathan the scribe, lest I die there. Then Zedekiah the king commanded that they should commit Jeremiah into the court of the prison, and that they should give him daily a piece of bread out of the baker's street, until all the bread in the city was spent. Thus Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison.